guys, I'm Ellie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 15th to the 21st of October. So we've got a little bit of a bumpy week, nothing particularly earth shattering is, ha is happening but the moon is making a kind of interesting journey past a lot of the outer planets and some kind of difficult planets like Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, Mars. So for you, Venus retrograde is going to still be quite a strong theme right now. So starting off the week, Venus in retrograde is going to be conjunct your ruling planet of Mercury. And then later on in the week, Venus is going to square her partner of Mars. Right. So what this means is you're going to be focusing on like masculine and feminine drives because there is an insight into seeing the way that the two work right now. So on practical terms, what I mean by that is are you perhaps working too hard at the expense of your self-care? Because you've got working too hard, masculine drive, self-care is a feminine drive. You know, are you leaning too hard into the masculine and you're going, you know, motivation, action, let's go, let's get it done, let's do this stuff. And then, you know, your feminine drive is, is lacking a little bit where it's like, you know, I just need some quiet time or I just need, you know, to pay attention to my body or I need to eat well or I need some extra sleep or I need to, you know, connect with somebody. Like, you know, is, this, is there an imbalance here? Or perhaps is it the other way around and that maybe you might have overindulged recently at the expense of action. So, you know, is there some plan or some direction or some project that you've been like, oh, I really want to do that, but you just haven't because you're like, well, I'm just going to watch Netflix instead or, well, I'm going out that night. So, you know, or, you know, maybe you think, oh, I want to start this healthy diet, but you think, well, well, okay, I'll just have another night of ice cream. So... It's this balance and basically this week is going to try and get you to harmonise the masculine and feminine drives. So, you know, in particular action and self-care. And these are themes that are coming up with Venus retrograde as well. So it's going to be made even stronger. And you might find that you have a real imbalance this week in order to show you. So, you know, if you find that all of a sudden you've got like so much stuff on your plate or you've got like a to-do list as long as your arm, then... This is trying to help you to see that, to see that it's too much, to see that you need more self-care in the mix. So, yeah, basically just try and try and get that balance, try and hit that balance. And if you can't try and hit that balance this week, try and work out why. Like where, like where is this stuff coming from? Why do you feel like you have to be doing action all the time? Or why do you not want to take action? Like what's going on behind the surface? Because Mercury will really help you to understand these kind of processes and then once you understand it then you can begin to tip the scales back and feel this kind of nice harmony that Venus retrograde is trying to get us all to feel. So yeah I'll pick your tarot card give you a little bit of extra info. What have we got for our Virgos? Two of Wands yeah okay Two of Wands is actually ruled by Mars and Aries so this is a very action orientated card so what this is saying is yeah it's either one or the other with you it's like you're either like go 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 or you're like completely switch off I'm not answering my phone I'm not like doing anything right now I can't possibly even begin to think of doing anything so you need to like get this in balance basically this drive that you have because you're obviously quite a driven kind of person you're motivated you know but you need to find a way to balance that out so that it's not all masculine drive or it's not all feminine kind of like, you know, softness. There needs to be a little bit of both in order for you to progress in a way that's not going to make you burn out and it's going to make you feel good as well. So I hope that helped guys. If it did, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.